Welcome back to my channel. So, it's about 10 o'clock at night here, Central Time. Uh, I did not touch up my face. It's kind of a failure right now. My makeup went on for work about 6.10 this morning, a.m. It's almost 10 p.m. now. My foundation is cracked, kind of came off. I mixed two foundations together this morning. I wanted to see how they wore. Um, I mixed Hourglass um, with the Tarte, both stick foundations. I think the Tarte does not mix well with the Hourglass because the Hourglass sits good on my skin by itself. Um, but I just wanted to see what its wear time was mixing. I like both textures. The Tarte uh, stick foundation is very creamy, luxurious. Um, it has a lot of vitamins and minerals in their stick foundation. But it, right now my makeup is pretty much a total fail. <laughs> and you guys are seeing me. Not, I did not touch up from today at all. So this is what's left and it's time to wash my face. But, I didn't want to wash my face until I came on here for a short video because I thought about these two products that I don't talk about and I don't hear other people talk about them that much. And it's a really good tool. And you can use like other products for eyeshadow toppers, but I do own a couple of eyeshadow toppers that I use consistently. I'm constantly reaching for them. Just applying my eyeshadow normally. And if it's in the color scheme of the two that I do own, I reach for them and just pat it over. Um, these are Natasha Denona's um, Chrome Crystal Top Coats. Um, I have two colors. This is Peach. This stuff super, I don't want to know if I want to say creamy, but pigmented, yes, but it's more, it doesn't throw a lot of color down, but it has that peachy um, undertone because this is the peach, the peach one, and you literally use your finger, come in and just tap over the top of your eyeshadow. Remember not to rub to disturb your makeup. You're just putting this on as a topper. And what it does, it kind of gives you that wet look, um, this little shimmer to your eyeshadow look. And this color, the other color I have is bronze crystal top coat. You can see the difference. I'll hold them up together. I think you could probably use certain peach bronze. Nice packaging, of course. Very high end luxury brand. Natasha Denona. Can't go wrong with pretty much anything that's put out by this company. All this brand. Love everything about this brand, especially for mature skin. She actually has mature skin, the woman, uh, on this label. And I watch her do videos, putting makeup on other people. She's very cool. And she has great skin. And her products are great. Um, you just, like I said, bare finger. Don't really want to use a brush. You can, but you would need to use the real flat one. And you would want to make sure that you're just patting and not trying to brush it on so I think you could probably get away with the glow girl like I was talking about before, yesterday you know tapping it on what look it helps shifting colors shift more um, and it's really nice I had on some top coat today myself I think most of it's gone because I was doing math with my daughter Oh no, I was doing social studies, Tim was doing math, and I was, you know, doing these numbers with my face. So it's been a long day, 
but I just wanted to come on here and talk about eyeshadow toppers. I think it's a great subject. Um, you can pick them up, um, throw them in your beauty kit. They pack well. They don't break apart. You know, they don't crumble. They're very well formulated inside these little glass jars. And it really can turn, you could come home from your work, top on an eyeshadow topper, and go out. It'll just ramp up your look that much more. And I wouldn't be opposed to trying to put some, and you matter of fact, I'll do that and I'll let you guys know. Some down here, you know, next to your waterline and just see what kind of results that gives you. I think it would be awful interesting, especially for a night look. Going dancing, going to dinner. Yes, I said dancing. <laughs> so, I think everybody should have date night once in a while. I, I think it's important. I think it's you know, it doesn't have to be fancy or expensive. It can be as simple as driving down to the corner alone together. Having an adult conversation, <laughs> driving around the neighborhood and coming back. I mean, you can make it as low-key or up-key as you want. In this age frame that I'm in now, I... We go low-key in the summer. In the winter, we tend to do um, more indoors things, so we're, you know, a little bit more upkeep. But I think it's so important to have options for your look when you want to go to the movies or go to work or go dancing or go to a nice dinner or a dinner party. Say, you know, your friends are coming over, other couples. You know, these are great subjects to share with your girlfriends, other wives. Um, when I was the military wife, I would have killed to get a hold of this kind of information. Um, I guess I was busy living life, um, serving the country, helping my husband in any way that I could. And I just... I wasn't on it like I should have been on it, meaning my body, health, fashion, hair, the whole shebango. And I would have killed to have listened to a channel for mature women, but I just couldn't find any. And now I have. I, I listen to a few channels now, and I, I absolutely love the information that I get. It's kind of like information sharing. I'm learning and then I'm passing it on to you guys because there's no sense to keep it to myself and if you guys know other subjects that I haven't talked about, tag me, questions, anything, just let me know. And I will leave, you know, you can eyeshadow topper with probably a lot of different products so I'll try to kind of experiment with the products that I do have to see if they can double time as eyeshadow toppers that doesn't really disturb your eyeshadow and lets the color of the eyeshadow come through but still has a chrome top to it you know kind of a sheer wash of color ish so I'll get back to you guys on that and I hope you guys had a great Monday, and I'm really grateful to be here, and love you guys. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's gym night for me. Um, I've kind of smoothed my gym schedule around, training around a little bit, so I thought I would show you some planking positions for mature bodies. Because, believe it or not, we need to change the way we exercise as we age. Because you can't just lay down and throw down 1,500 sit-ups anymore because of our bodies are aging and things are changing. So we can do planks and exercises for our abs and 
but never do a sit up and have great flat abs. Um, but we just have to change the way that we think about doing exercise so it's more efficient and fat burning and cutting, meaning we're cutting in muscles, we're really concentrating on certain muscles so we're burning them, burning them, so we're changing them. Let me tell you, the body makes the biggest change inside the burn. And this is medical fact, meaning, you know, when you work out and you're really sore the next day, but you should be even sore on day two, 48 hours after your workout. I was so sore when I was training that I couldn't walk up my stairs to come to bed. I had to have Tim help me inside those sore times meaning the burn that made me sore to produce that much last lactic acid in my muscles is where the change happens so that means we still have to push ourselves very hard as hard as we can you know even if you're a beginner pushing yourself moving as quickly as you can and then slow quickly as you can then slow Everybody starts on a level and then you just move up at your own pace in fitness. And then you have to maintain. Remember, this is a machine. If you don't use the machine, you lose the machine. The machine breaks. This is a biological machine. And it has to have certain things to function correctly. I wish it didn't sometimes don't we all I wish you know I got my fitness once in a while by sitting on my couch watching my favorite show but unfortunately that isn't reality for me and for many people so I work at it um, sometimes I work harder at it than others and I I think that's completely normal um, but show season's going to start for me next month so i'm really going to push hard physically um, to try to make these last changes that i'm making i have a goal in mind let's see if i can get there so tomorrow i'll share a few exercise positions with you guys and i hope you guys sleep well tonight and i'll see you tomorrow thank you